All right, welcome back everyone. And in this video, we'll be looking at a solution for minimizing um, the DFA M that's given here. So essentially, we're going to try to apply the state reduction algorithm from scratch. Um, so let's get right into it. What's the very first step of the state reduction algorithm? It's to remove any unreachable states. So in this case, it's a bit tricky because delta has been given in a tabular fashion. So actually, I think the best thing to do here might be to just quickly sketch it. So I have Q0. Um, I can either go to Q1, the 0, or to Q3 with a 1. Uh, let's see. If I'm in Q1, I can go to myself with a 0, or I can go to Q4. Mm, if I'm in Q3, I can go back to myself with a 0, or I can go to Q2 with a 1. Okay. Um, if I'm in Q4, then I can go back, let's see, I can go back to Q4 with a 0, and I can go to Q5 with a 1. Okay. Um, then for Q2, for Q2, I can go back to Q0 with a 0. And I can go, let's see, Q2, I can go to myself with a 1, okay? So, I mean, it looks like, right, so from Q0, I can go to Q1, Q4, Q5, I can go to Q3 and Q2, so yeah, okay, I think, I think everything's reachable, right? So, I'll just, for the sake of completion, uh, complete the state transition diagram. Okay, so this is what my state transition transition diagram M looks like. So uh, there are no unreachable states, right? Because from Q0, there is a directed walk to each of these other states. Um, so that implies that I don't have to remove any unreachable states. Okay, so great. So now step two is the harder step, right? It's the partitioning and distinguishability test, right? So um, partition, step two is partition plus distinguish. Okay. So remember, um, step two has multiple, like you can, you can do this, you can imagine a for loop going through this or a while loop looping until you, ha you meet some, some stopping criteria. So the first set of partitions will be S1. So S1 is going to be assigned all the non-accept states. So the non-accept states, well, I know that Q2, Q5 are accept states. So Q2, Q5 are the accept states. So the non-accept states are all the other states, right? So Q0, Q1, Q3, and Q4. And then the, the accept states, that's going to be partition S2. So that's going to be Q2 and Q5. Okay. So now the second step, right, is... Um, so that's, that's my first partition. Then in the next iteration, I need to first distinguish um, each pair of states, right? So... Uh, let's start with Q2 and Q5, right? So I think I think it'll actually be easier if I look here at this table. So um, if I'm in Q2, right? So let's go let's go pair. So the pair Q2 Q5, and then let's go through each symbol. So I have Q2 and I have Q5. So if I'm in Q2 and I read a zero, I go to Q0, which is part of S1. Then if I'm in Q5 and I go to I read a zero, I go to Q0, which is part of S1. So these two partitions are the same, so I'm good for that symbol. Again, for Q2 and Q5, if I read a one instead, 
then in both cases, I go to Q2, right? So of course, it doesn't really matter what, what partition I belong to. Actually, in both cases, I go to the same place for each symbol, right? So clearly that means that I have um, two states always going to the same partition for each uh, symbol, right? So I have my, my one partition here that's going to stay Q2 intact, Q2, Q5. Okay. And actually you can conclude, really, you can conclude because Q2 and Q5 have the same exact destinations for each symbol, they're always going to be part of the same transition, right? Just by virtue of how this algorithm works. Okay, next, let's choose, I wanna choose my, my states carefully so I can uh, maximize, let's see. Let's pick Q0 and Q3, okay, so. Okay, so Q0 and Q3, if I read a zero, then from Q0 I go to Q1, and from Q3 I go to Q3. Both of these are in S1, right? So that's okay. So I'm okay for the symbol zero. How about the symbol one? For the symbol one, um, I go to Q3 for Q0, which is part of S1, and I go to Q2 for Q3, so, which is part of S2. So here the two the two partitions do not match. And so actually that means that I can split these guys. So I can split my partitions because Q0 and Q3 go to different um, partitions. I have Q0 in one partition and Q3 in another. Okay, excellent. How about, let's see, Q0, okay, let's go Q0 and Q1. So let's see. So Q0 and Q1, when they read a zero, they both go to the same state. So I don't even need to check what partition that is. Because they go to the same state, uh, they clearly go to the same partition. Now for one, mm, for one, if I read um, a one from Q0 or Q1, I go to Q3 and Q4 respectively. Both of these states are part of the partition S1, right? Remember, I'm looking at the partition from the previous step. So Q3 and Q4 are part of the same partition. I don't care about what, where they are now, right? I just care about the previous. So because Q0 and Q1 go to the same partition from the previous step, then Q0 and Q1 go together, right? Next, what about Q3 and Q4? So Q3 and Q4, um, so when I read Q3, uh, sorry, when I'm in Q3 or I'm in Q4 and I read a zero, what happens? Well, for Q3, I go to Q3, for Q4, I go to Q4. So both of these guys are in S1, right, from this step, right? Okay, so, so in that case, that means that uh, for that symbol, things still look indistinguishable, right? The next state is, uh, the next symbol is one, right? So what happens if Q3 and Q4, in, uh, what happens if from Q3 and Q4, my machine reads a one? Well, for Q3, I go to Q2, for Q4, I go to Q5. Now, this is the interesting example, I think. So both of these states are part of partition S2, right? So I have these guys went to S1, these guys went to S2. It doesn't matter that these guys are different, right? What I care about is the um, interpartition destination for a single uh, symbol. So I only care about which partitions you go to for each symbol. So for zero, they both go to S1. For one, they both go to S2. Both partitions are the same for each symbol. And so that means they're indistinguishable. So that means that Q3 and Q4 actually go together. And I don't need to do like, I don't need to cross check Q1 with Q4 because I, because I can't move Q1 back here, right? I know that these guys go together. I know that these guys go together. I know that Q3 and Q0 don't go together, right? They're separate. And um, because this actual relation 
you, you'll see is transitive, right? Um, you'll see this in, in uh, future videos. Then I can actually conclude that I can close this partition, this partition, and this partition, right? So let's do that. So I close this guy and I close this guy. Okay, so now again, I need to redo this because maybe now I'm going to split. Oops. Maybe now I'm going to split the partition. Okay, so let's check Q0 and Q1. So for Q0 and Q1, and let's actually name these partitions. Let's say this is S1, this is S2, this is S3. Four, let's see. Okay, let's use let's use colors this time. Okay. So for Q0 and Q1, right, when they both read zeros, okay, both of them go to Q1. So if they go to the same state, then I know that for that symbol I'm good, right? For reading symbol one, Q0 goes to Q3, which is part of S2, and Q1 goes to Q4, which here from the previous step is again part of S2. Right? So in both cases, I go to the same partitions. And so that means that um, I'm actually going to keep these partitions intact. I'm not going to split them. So what about S2? Well, I shouldn't even call it S2 yet, right? So what about Q3, Q4? So let's use a different color. Let's use this. So for Q3, Q4, um, when I read a zero, Q3 goes to Q3, Q4 goes to Q4. Well, from the previous step, I know that Q3 and Q4 are both part of partitions S2. So for, for the symbol zero, I'm good, right? I go to the same partition. What about for one? Well, for one, Q3 goes to Q2, and Q4 goes to Q5. These two guys are part of this partition, S3. And so again, I'm good, right? Because for symbol zero, I went to S2 in both cases. And then for symbol one, I went to S3 in both cases. So again, that means I'm good. I don't have to split these guys. So again, they can stay Q3, Q4. So I can actually call this S2 again. And then finally S3. Well, S3, remember, I don't even have to check this because Q2 and Q5 go to the same state for each symbol. So clearly they're going to be in the same partition for each symbol. So S3 is going to remain Q2 and Q5. And ah. Look at that. There has been no change, right? No change from two to three. So this means that I can stop. And this means that um, these guys, let's use a different color from what I've used, stay, uh, partition S1, S2, and S3 will become my uh, states in my minimum DF. Okay. So now what I actually have to do is I need to draw, oh, excellent, I have a page. I need to draw this minimal DFA, right? Um, so let's do that. Let's do that in the next page. So now I draw or build, build and hat based on S1, S2, S3. So, um, Let's see, so S1 was Q0, Q1, S2 was Q3, Q4. Sorry, I hope I said S2 was Q3, Q4. And then S3 was Q2, Q5. So I'm just gonna call this state 0, 1, state 3, 4, state 2, 5. Okay, so the first thing is, what's my initial state? So my initial state is the partition that contains um, Q0. So it's going to be SI containing Q0. Well, that's zero, 01, right? So I'm going to start here. And what about except or final states? So it's going to be all those SJs where uh, there's a final state from my original machine in SJ. Well, in this case, I'm lucky. Both final states from my original machine, which were Q2 and Q5, are in the same partition. So, well, I don't know if that means I'm lucky, but that means that um, I only have a single final state, and that's going to be 2, 5, right? So, let's do this. Okay. Okay. 
So then this is going to be my temp state. All right, now, now of course the trickiest part is figuring out the transitions. So, okay, so what I'd like to do is like, I'd like to copy this table. Uh, I don't think I can do that. Can I? No, wait. Can I? Cut, save, duplicate. I don't know, probably not. No, yeah, because, okay. Okay, so I'll need to, okay, I'll need to, oh, I know. Let's do this. Let's do seamless. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Very good. All right. Okay, good. So this is going to be helpful. Yes. Okay. So from zero one, where do I go? Right? So if I'm in zero one, let's do the transitions in yellow. Oh, no, not yellow. Let's do this. Okay. So from zero one, where can I go? Well, um, Q0 and Q1 both go to Q1 when I read a zero. So that means that they go to partition, to this partition, right? Notice, of course, that because, because of the way I did the state reduction algorithm, these are always going to be the same partitions. And so they're always going to be the same states in my machine because the, the states encode the partitions, right? Then for one, for one, I go to three or four, but three or four are, of course, part of the same partition. So that's where this transition goes. Then for three, four, for three, four, I go to, let me erase this. All right, so uh, for three, four, I go back to three, four when I read a zero. So, and then I go to two, five when I read a one. Okay. And then for two five, right? So for two five here, when I read a zero, I go back to Q zero in both cases. So I go to the partition zero one. So that's where I go here. And then for Q for uh, for the symbol one, I go to Q two in both cases. Q two is part of uh, my own. It's part of the partition Q two Q five, and so I get a, a self loop for one. Okay, 